So now that all the old footage is uploaded and caught back up, I can go over where it's at now. Uh, the last thing I recorded was working on the fuel tank. Uh, that's done. That's been done for a long time. Um, I ended up getting some eyelets. Let's see if I can get a shot here. So those strap bolts that were broken, uh, I ended up getting some, the, I think they're like eyelet, eye loop bolts or something like that. They're a bolt with a loop on the end. I cut that and made kind of a J-hook out of it for both sides. So that was easier to source than I thought. I don't know what grade the hardware is, but the tank's holding up, so it's good enough. Um... Fuel filter obviously got replaced. Redid the brake lines. You see the top one there is new copper nickel line. That's soft enough you can bend by hand. So it's not perfectly straight, but it works. So I don't care what it looks like. Shocks were put in. Look at that rusting. This thing hasn't been driven in almost a year. So it was driven for roughly eight months to a year after installing those. That's Iowa for you. Um, gosh, what else did I do? Let me get back up from underneath of here. Throwing keys on the floor. Um... So the front end, I ended up out at the farm, uh, we were rebuilding a tractor, and I went to turn around in a ditch and heard some popping noises. Well, my U-joints, you can kind of see in there, there's new ones, were completely gone. Um, the needle bearings had turned to dust. So, those needed replaced. In the process, I ended up with new ball joints, upper and lower, as well as new hubs. Um, so at this point, the front end is almost completely rebuilt. Um, there's some stuff that didn't get done, like the track bar. Um, joints and whatnot those I didn't do anything with but or the tie rods but the main ones are replaced brakes front brakes got done when I did the brake lines um, oh what else um, the engines back together I don't even know if there was a video on that, but try not to make a mess of what's on the hood. That's all back together. I drove it for a while. Um, I did end up getting a new battery for it. Painted the front grille. Still need to do the bumper. Um, but it looks a heck of a lot better. There's styrofoam mess all over just ignore that that was I was building an archery target um, so probably the biggest thing that's changed is the rear suspension got rebuilt so there is the light is terrible there we go new leaf pack well the original leaf pack but what I did was took a main out of another leaf pack, cut the eyes off of it, and added it to the original pack. Cleaned it up and painted it. New U bolts in there. Also, cut out the old shackle boxes because they were very rusty, um, falling apart. 
I got these Iron Man shackle boxes to go in with Iron Man shackles. Uh, this netted maybe an inch of lift. I wasn't really going for a lift, but it just ended up happening. You can see I cleaned up and cut out a lot of the rusty metal. Quarters cut out. I need to finish cleaning that up, but cut it all out, painted it all. Um, prepared the floors again. Um, cut out the old sheet metal that I had put in because it was rusting. Put new sheet metal in, welded it in real good, and just bondoed over the seams because I had bondo and I didn't feel like buying seam sealer. Uh, you can still see light through over there. I've got more work to do. Um, did that. I put in, kind of see it there, along the floor seam, quarter inch thick angle iron, and welded in along the where the floor meets the side of the Jeep because that was rusted out real bad. Um, got some new metal in there. I gotta put some more beads on there that's just kind of tacked in there for now. Clean that up because that was rusted through. Um, what else have we done? Um, took the rear bumper off, painted it, took the hitch off, painted it. All new hardware. I love new hardware. Pulls through the floor so that those Iron Man shackle boxes. There's three bolts through the floor. There's three bolts that go through the back wall there and then it also bolts to the frame. I can get a shot under there somewhere. It bolts to the frame. So there's eight bolts that hold those in. So those should be good and solid. You can also weld those in, but I didn't do it. I just figured the bolts were fine. Um, what else? Uh, one of the big time sucks that I've had since the last video being uploaded was I got a 3D printer and started 3D printing parts, which I may do a video on that also, um, which is why the interior is partly torn apart. The interior is just a mess in here anyway, but um, quite a few of the parts I've made have kind of revolved around the center console, so those are available on eBay and through Comanche Club as well. Um, yeah, I'll probably do a whole other separate video on the 3D printing stuff. So I'm sure some people may want to see that. But that has been a huge project that's taken up a vast majority of my time. Um, but as far as this goes, what I've got left to do, I've got the bumper corners, the rear bumper corners painted. Those need to go on the rear bumper. I still need to paint the front bumper um, the battery in this needs charged but my battery charger is dead so I need to get a new one of those I need to clean the shop because it is just an absolute disaster zone I stuff just absolutely everywhere projects that half finished never get done um, yeah and then I guess I can give just a little tease of other stuff that I have here. So that is future video potential if I decide to do videos on those. Because honestly it's sometimes kind of easier just to do a quick video. And... Uh, Instead of doing a bunch of pictures and typing stuff out for forum posts. So, um, yeah, that is the Suzuki. I think there's one video of that, or two videos of that, over there. And 
Street Comanche number 96. So those may end up with videos. The Street Comanche definitely may end up with videos because there is a ton of work that needs done on that. Completely dependent on if I can get a title. It's almost entirely torn apart and there's, I mean, here's the interior and front end of that. So, who knows, but for now, I think I'll just throw videos together so I don't have to type everything out for all the different Jeeps that I've got going on. Currently, now that the Suzuki is here instead of at the farm, and I just bought that third Comanche, I now have seven vehicles at this house. The Suzuki was living on the farm, so it wasn't so terrible, but... I've got the blue truck in the front garage with the wife's van, my Journey, which I bought to daily drive instead of this Cherokee, which is why this has been sitting for so long. Just parks in the driveway. That truck lives there, and now the Suzuki and the other truck live behind the shop. So, plenty of projects and I think videos will be easier than pictures and typing everything up. So we'll just go from there. Um, hopefully this Cherokee will be done soon so I can get working on the Suzuki. Um, I plan on just putting the bumper end caps on and finishing the floors. Like I said, those are currently just welded in new sheet metal with some Bondo to seal up the welds because I'm too cheap to go buy seam sealer. I'm just going to Bondo the seams. i got to do the outside seams yet because they're... I mean, that's just leaking through the front. I need to clean that up. But seal the seams from the outside to keep the crap from getting to the inside. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what other videos I come up with. Yeah, so there'll be more videos coming. I don't know. I think I'm going to kind of take the path of less editing and more just record something and throw it up so I can spend less time typing and uploading pictures and or editing videos um, that way it'll save me some time I can spend more time on the 3d printing stuff and get new products developed and out because a lot of the guys a lot of you guys are liking having products available parts available that you can't buy otherwise so more time I can spend on that the better so, yeah, more videos to come.